This is Katie, co-host of Coffee with Keeping Katie. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is McKenna Collins, host of Table Talk here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll check out my show, Table Talk, where we invite guests to discuss all things lifestyle, pop culture, and how to live your best life. Join us as we talk with today's movers and shakers, including celebrities, athletes, bloggers, and more. A new show comes out every other Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Table Talk. And thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Timothy 6.15, which God will bring about in his own time, God, the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Good morning, welcome to the Verse of the Day podcast presented by Public House Media. I'm Baxter Colburn. Thanks for joining me today for another edition of the show. A quick reminder for you, of course, the show can be found on Apple Podcasts, on the phmedia.com, and wherever you find the podcasts in your life. There's hundreds of apps out there. I think I've got like six podcast apps on my phone, uh, just because I'm always looking to try different ones out there. But I uh, highly recommend going through Apple Podcasts. Leave us a review if you haven't done so already, please. A subscription would be amazing as well. So just please, that way you can stay in touch uh, and also uh, just keep up to date with when the show is coming out. We're on Facebook and we're on Instagram as well too for you. So please give us a follow or a like on those respective platforms. And if you'd like to submit a verse of the day like uh, our friend of the show Beverly did today, um, feel free to do so. So a big thank you to you, Beverly, for submitting a verse today. You can do that on Facebook or Instagram. So thank you so much for doing that. This verse is, I think, a really cool uh, look for us today because it gives us an opportunity to kind of just really kind of reassure the sovereign power that God has uh, in our life. And I know that sometimes that is not always the easiest thing for us to figure out and sometimes understand either. Now, when we when we look at the the power of what God has, when we look at what exactly he is, we often forget about this massive entity that he is. We're always, I think, focusing on God our Father, God our Father, this loving Father figure that keeps us safe, that bails us out of trouble, that allows us to almost have this better feeling about ourselves and about what we're doing and really just more of this protector. But I think the way that I really like this said is how the New Living Translation verses this. It says, For at just the right time, Christ will be revealed by heaven and by the blessed and only Almighty God, the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. There's no other way to put this other than the fact that God is all-powerful, all-knowing. He is omnipotent, as we may have heard him described in the past. Look at other cross-reference verses throughout the Bible. Deuteronomy 10, 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, mighty, and awesome God, showing no partiality and accepting no bribe. Psalm 136, 3. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His loving devotion endures forever. Even in the book of Revelation, and he, 19, 16. And he has a name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Brothers and sisters, if you are still doubting who Jesus Christ is and you're still doubting the sovereignty of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there is a great resource out there for you to be able to learn more. It's called the Bible. It's called being able to dive into Scripture further. And I think... For you, and I think what a lot of folks nowadays do is struggle, and they say, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to follow God? What is God? There's amazing resources out there, first of all, but really, it starts with finding a good church home. It starts with finding a place that you can really call your own, and it's going to make you feel like you're, in a sense, almost at home because you're going to be surrounded by your church body, your church family. 
that's the best part about it, I think. But there's so many resources available out there for you as well, too, to help kind of explain and really dive deeper into the overall sovereignty and overall just awe-inspiring will that is God. So how do we, how do we, what, what do we take away from this verse today? I think this is just a great reminder for us on this Monday as we get ready for our week, as we get ready for another just onslaught of challenges, onslaught of good moments, bad moments, depressing moments potentially. You don't, I don't know when one knows what their week is going to instead. That's why I always like if we can on Mondays to just really get a verse that kind of just drives us through the roof and says, all right, here's God, just in case you forgot, he's awesome. In not so many words, right? And that's what this is telling us as well, too. Um, For at just the right time, Christ Jesus will be revealed by heaven. God will reveal Christ Jesus at just the right time because he is our almighty God, King of kings, the Lord of lords. No other sovereign leader of any mankind will ever be even remotely close to what God and Jesus have ever done. Never. King David, King Solomon, you look at any great leaders throughout, you know, the pharaohs, you look at Alexander, you look at any of the possibly great leaders in our existence as a human race. No one will ever even be able to touch our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God and their overall power and entity that they have. So take that as a back little thought as you go forward with your day today that you have a king of kings and lord of lords on your side this morning fighting battles for you that you probably don't even know exist in your life and they are there waging battle against the evil one so that way you can go about living your life the best way that you possibly can may god bless you and may he keep you safe and may you have an amazingly prosperous and exciting filled week thanks for listening You've been listening to the Verse of the Day podcast presented by Public House Media. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Verse of the Day. I hope you'll go and subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Google Play Music as well. A new episode comes out every Monday through Friday. You won't want to miss it. More information about Verse of the Day can be found by heading over to thephmedia.com.